What is going on guys, Pro Designs here and today as usual, I'm going to be showing you how to import motion capture data into Cinema 4D for free. So let's head over to our web browser. Uh, what you want to do is have a, an Adobe account, uh, be subscribed to having After Effects, Photoshop, any Adobe product. You, you can sign up for free, you don't necessarily have to have purchased a Adobe product. As long as you've got an Adobe account you can use this for free um, and you have to um, confirm your account uh, via email and stuff like that but it's really easy to do. Uh, and once you've created an account uh, and you're on the Mix, Mixamo website uh, go over to browse animations and let's go to characters we're just going to choose any dynamic character there's lots to choose from uh, also if you guys want a tutorial on how to import uh, your own character for example um, like a COD4 character like if I just show you guys quickly um, if I scroll down here how to import say a Call of Duty 4 character please comment down below and uh, I will do a tutorial if I get some responses so let's just choose this guy let it load internet being very slow today I don't know why um, it's not normally this slow here we are so we have our 3d character and we want to add some movement to him. So let's click on here, find animations. And there's loads and loads and loads. I want to say hundreds, but there's loads of different types of movements you can do. So if you click on the search up here, you can have combat, uh, here we go, combat, uh, combat animations, adventure, sport, dance, fantasy, superhero, business, you know. There's loads, so let's just go on to uh, dance. Let that load, and we'll just add. I don't know the thriller one. When it loads, eventually. So as I said, if you guys want me to. Just saw on how to import the uh, COD4 character or Black Ops 2 character, whatever uh, rigid character you want into this program. Uh, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do a you guys. So we could just export this straight away, but what we can do is we can adjust how fast we want him to move, how slow we want him to move uh, by um, adjusting the over overdrive slow to fast drive it always to the left for it to be slower or faster way to the right and we can adjust the amount of frames that we want it to be at the moment it's 900 frames if you move these about uh, you can make it small uh, smaller video size or larger totally up to you and um, once you've fiddled around these settings and you're happy um, add it to your presets like so and then once uh, you've added it to your presets just press view slash download now what you can do is you press query download or Q download sorry and just leave these as they are I mean if you want it in 60 frames per second uh, change it to 60 but we're just, I'm just going to leave it at 30 and let's do Q download and then we'll see it's here and and just press here status download and as you, as you see it's downloading so while that's downloading let's go and open up cinema 4D let's just, uh, and it's done so let's just open that uh, let's drag that there and then 
For the settings, just leave them as default. We don't need to adjust anything. And just let that load in. And there you have it. Easy as that. Let's just move our camera so we can see them a bit clearer. Like that. And if you press play, you have now successfully imported um, some motion capture data into Cinema 4D. Um, and it's as easy as that and it is free I mean there's no fiddling around you know finding the geometry of the character and moving each point you know that takes hours and hours and hours to do an animation you know that lasts you know a minute or less than a minute um, yeah and that's it so if this tutorial has helped you in any way please give it a thumbs up uh, please follow me on Twitter trying to build up my Twitter community uh, so follow me on that and as if I and as I said a uh, few guys want me to do a tutorial on how to um, upload your own character into uh, Maximo uh, I'll be happy to do a tutorial with you guys but please just comment down below um, and if I get some good response I will do a tutorial for you guys so thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video